Hello everybody, this is Santa Jerry and Santa Switch Adapted Toys Workshop today. We have another fun little toy we're going to work on. Sometimes people see my videos and they just they just love doing what I'm doing out there. And I had a friend send me this toy. He was watching my videos and Aaron asked me if I would fix his toy for him make it switch adapted so that's what we're going to do this particular toy is a, also a Linkamoles uh, interactive toy from Fisher Price this is the polar bear that was put out in 2021 and we're going to open it up it has some other parts that would go in here you can see the shape circle crescent square and the like uh, they didn't need to send those because I, I just needed this toy so Aaron kept those and he's waiting to get this toy back so he can use it so here we go we'll get right into this we have uh, several contact points that we can work with on here interactive on this toy the whoops I need to turn it on don't I let's turn it on get it on low volume there so this is the quiz button and it introduces and goes from there and then there's other points you can just see when you put the shapes in we've got actions going on in here okay so the one that we're going to adapt is this quiz button so it's turning back off so that I can do when you get this toy you're going to discover there is a whole bunch of interesting stuff to work with there's ten screws that hold this toy together. Now I've already taken them out so we can shorten a little time on this video. I mean, I, it, it, when I say shorten, you know, I mean, I, I, I make long videos anyway. Now we're going to turn it over so we can access the back. And behind here are those switches. Let's take, where did I put my screwdriver? Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the toy. Let's grab up this toy. Screwdriver, pull these screws out. I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Once we get into this, uh, into the, the heart of this. So, the back of this circuit board, and it's got um, titles in, in certain places for it. Take those two screws out. We're going to flip this over and expose those six buttons. Five for the shapes, and the white one here is the quiz button. Okay? And I can pick up the whole thing because it's connected. And so let's see. I've got my light is on one side over there. I'm going to try and get this up and hold it kind of close to the camera. I'm not doing a very good job. And lighting is not as good as it could be. Let's see if I can improve that a little. All right. And so we can see that there's some titles in there. And those titles help us a little bit. We can also see that the button that we're going to adapt is the white one. And off of the white one, my hand's holding, one hand's holding it up and the other one's, there's these two bridges, long legs if you will, that are sticking out from the side of it. And those are the contact points for the switch to make it activate. Those go through the circuit board and you can see here that it's called quiz button SW5. So when we turn that back over, we're going to be looking for that information on the back. And there it is right there. It says SW5 quiz button. So the two contacts that we need to put our cable to are going to be right there. And I'm going to show you where they are. We're going to turn the toy back on so we can hear it. The two contacts, let me change pointers, are the one right next to where it says quiz button and the one across from it. The quiz 
button here or this this side of it you can see this light gray or light green coloring is the ground for this it's the common for this particular toy circuit board the other one over here is the one that's dedicated to the quiz button so all we need to do is to put us our cable our wiring on these two and it'll do it and to show that did I turn it on let's find out to show that if we take a metal object and cross those two the toy works the toy works and on this toy every time it's touched it interrupts the programming and starts new new programming so that's simple that's where we're going to connect it up so let me put the the uh, toy back down for a, a moment here so because we now know where those are and I, I definitely wanted everyone to understand what these components are and how we found our connection point because we know where that connection point is you don't even have to take this board off to adapt this toy and in fact I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in to hold that board back down so this this project is done or this part of it is done anyway it, it, it's, it's really a shame you don't want to make it. Oh. <laughs> thank you you don't want to make a mistake and um, on the doing things and so but we've identified now it's I see uh, okay how oh here we are SW5 quiz button so it's those two now we have to get this cable inside the box inside the cabinet here uh, I like to use the back if I can as an unobtrusive spot to do it on this particular toy because of all the hardware and wiring on here we're going to drill a hole right here underneath turn it over right here underneath his his, his neck in front of that front foot so okay thank you. we're going to turn <laughs> we're going to turn this off for just a few more moments here okay so this operation involves a, a hole to get the cable inside. And there it is. Blow the dust out. Gonna pass that cable. Whoops. Gonna pass that cable through the hole. And and every time you adapt a toy, this is one of the things you need to do is you need to figure out where you're going to access things and and still have you know a nice clean case set up I'm not having I've got the one wire in but the uh, blue one doesn't seem to be wanting to follow there we go we got them in I'm gonna pull these through in a moment I'm going to put these underneath those other cables. I need it to reach here. I need that much wire and I always tie a knot. So we're going to tie a knot in this cable and that's an anti-strain so this cannot be pulled out. And we want the knot to allow us to have enough wire to reach those switches without stress. So we want a little bit more. Okay. Tighten that down and that becomes our strain relief. That cannot be pulled out. These cables are long enough to reach over to those quiz buttons. I'm going to grab my handy tweezers here and we're going to do a quick solder. Uh, there's a little bit of noise here. I need to turn on my suction system get things a little closer I always like picking up a little bit of solder on here and we're going to connect up this to switch ground we're going to connect the other wire to the other side of that switch we've already tested
and folks it's that simple that was it we opened it up we talked about it a lot we adapted it let's text it I have a switch off camera plug that in Hello. Um, let's turn it up full volume so we can hear it Hi. and there it is. Every time, every time we punch that button, it changes program. Maybe, maybe that's a little, little too loud. Okay. Toy is now switch adapted. Let's put it back together. So, wire managements. We, want, we don't want to pinch any wires. We do have a couple of uh, wires that's going to be near this switch. So I'm going to take the back and turn it over. Let's go ahead and turn the power off while we're working on this. And again, uh, I, I know that I'm hiding the, the wiring, but you want to make sure the wiring is nice and clean. Everything's in there and not going to get pinched when this sets back together. Okay, if you look carefully, you see I'm pinching a wire. Did I, am I catching that on the camera? You can see that I got the, the black wires over the top of that switch. It's one of the things that you got to be very careful of. And let's get back in here move that out of the way so that we can put this back together okay so the case is clamshell closed we haven't got any screws in it yet but we want to make sure that we didn't pinch anything Hello. and there it is Aaron, thank you very, very much for sending me this toy and trusting me with, with working on it for you. I shall get it in the mail to you very, very soon, and you'll have it. And this will be posted up on YouTube. You can watch how I did it. Thank you all for watching Santa Switch Adapted Toys. Have a wonderful day.